That's Our true. royal watchers were delighted, of course, to see Princess Kate make her first public appearance since her cancer diagnosis when she attended the Trooping the Colour Parade in honour of the King's birthday. But what has Meghan Markle been up to, you might ask? Well, she's been working on a new line of dog treats for her lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. A sneak peek of the new product and a new flavour of jam, which I'm rushing out to buy, was revealed in an Instagram post by one of Prince Harry's friends, um, Argentinian polo player Ignacio Figueres. Oh, nice and relatable. Uh, um, you know, uh, for goodness sake... Of course she had to choose Parnell, <laughs> trooping the colour as the time to, to launch all of this stuff. It's just so transparent. She must be eating her heart out. Can you imagine? So with all of the things that have gone on with the royal family over the last year with the cancer scares and Kate having to mm. take a step back and Charles having to step back, <laughs> Megan, if she had not done this Megxit thing, <laughs> would be absolutely... It would be her moment to shine. Yes. She must yes. be sitting there That's bleeding true. in every pot of jam. <laughs> <laughs> this, hey, don't and, say that. That'll be a selling uh, point for some people. You're just far away from being second in line to the throne. I know. I know. Oh, it's so funny. It's like, and it's just like American Riviera Orchard. Like we're talking. This is this is what AI would have generated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you please deliver me a wholesome sounding, sounding brand that will rehabilitate my reputation that couldn't possibly offend everyone? And then American Riviana Orchard, <laughs> make it highbrow with lots of natural fibres. What, what was the farm in The Simpsons? Oh, I can't think yeah, of yeah, the, yeah. the no, name it is, now. It you know, that one, yeah. Um, whatever the thing was, they remember. Um, but it's, it's just like, you would think at some point, well actually no, you, you wouldn't because we've seen enough from Meghan Markle to understand how she operates Freya. But like you could have chosen any other day. It's so mm. deliberate what she's doing. And and even if I know that she has issues with the royal family, but, you know, the, the king has some unidentified cancer. Kate has had a, a form of cancer and has been treated. You'd think she could just go a little easy on him at the moment. I feel like we all, or certainly I hope, that, you know, when push comes to shove, in a moment of family need, you all kind of rise to the occasion, you put past differences behind you and you come together. Not Protestants. But... And, then you, give, <laughs> and then, you, then, you, then you give out dog biscuits. Then you, then, then you launch dog biscuits, because that's exactly what you should do in the moment of greatest family strife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I must say, I am, and Parnell and I were discussing this before the show, we both have a confession that we are strange addicted to watching Meghan Markle's oh, yeah. life. Yeah. And it's actually bad because I'm like, this is exactly what she wants. She wants attention. But and, know, and she's getting it. She I can't monetize this. Yeah, Everybody else gets this to monetize this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as, as Joe was saying, like, you can get 100 columns out of me oh, and Markle yeah, on a slow day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, one, 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 <laughs> of the, doing. one of the best read columns I've ever written for the Sky News website was about Meghan Markle. So, Meghan, I love you. Those sweet, sweet clicks and the advertising dollars. Please keep it coming.